Hey guys, and welcome to another JavaScript challenge. In this challenge, we're going to create a function that receives a string as an argument and counts repeating letters in a string. String will not contain symbols, numbers, or punctuation, only the letters. As always, if you'd like to solve the challenge yourself, just pause the video and resume once you would like to compare the results. So first and foremost, I do have my function. I obviously named my function however I would like. If you don't like my naming, you can come up with something better. But I named one count letters, and this is the string that I'm receiving. And at the moment, we're just doing a simple return. So if let's say we're going to grab a string with four F's, then two E letters, then one R, then four T's, as well as three O's, my return should be something like this, where I'm counting the letters of F, as well as E, as well as R, then four T's, since I'm passing here four T's. And last but not least, I have three O's. Where do we start? First and foremost, I would want to create two arrays. Now, the first one will be used splitting up the string. So we're going to use the string split method. And the second one will just going to be empty array. So let's say the first one would be temp temp array. And like I said, we're going to use string split method. And I'm going to split on each and every character. And just to show you what we're going to have as a return. Instead of returning the string, we're going to return temporary array. Now, as you can see right now, I have an array. And each and every letter in my current string is my array item. That would be the first thing. Next one up, we're going to create just an empty array where eventually there's going to be our return. So let letters will be equal to a empty array. And last but not least, we're going to have the count. Now, since the minimum letter that I can have is one, because otherwise, if there's zero letters, that letter will not be in the string. I'm going to start with the one. And after I have my setup, once I have my two arrays as well as count of one, I would like to set up the for loop. So I'm going to say four. And now I'd like to loop through the temporary array. So let's say let i. So I'm going to start looping with zero, of course, as always. Then we're going to say i is equal to zero. And then we're going to loop all the way through an array. And we know that we just need to go temp array length. So less than the full length. As well as we're going to iterate each and every time by incrementing of one. So I plus plus. And then for each and every iteration, I would like to check whether the current iteration is in fact equal to the next after that. So how do we do that? We can say if, and then we're checking for temp array. If I'm saying if this current iteration in my array is exactly the same as the next one, then I would like to do something. So I'm going to say equal, and then obviously I'm going to say again, temporary array plus one. So if they are equal, I would just want to increase the count. I would say, all right, so the count will going to be plus plus. So I start my iteration. I check, okay, so if F is equal to F, now my count obviously will be two. Then if I'm going to check the next one and so on and so forth. Inevitably, I'm going to come to the point where obviously the current iteration will not match my next one. So what do we do then? Well, in that case, we're going to say else. So if it doesn't match, I would first and foremost like to create a new variable. So I'm going to say let value. And for this, I will going to use a template literal. And I'm just going to grab the count that I currently have. And obviously, I'm accessing the count from the variable here, as well as I would like to get that letter. Because what happens for each and every iteration when the letters will be repeating, I will going to be increasing the count. So right before I switch to the next letter, I would like to grab the count. So how many letters I had, as well as I would like to get that actual letter. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. So I'm going to say temp array, then was going to pass that current iteration, which obviously will going to mean the letter that I'm going to be adding. And now I'd like to add this value, this variable, to my letters array. Like I said, this will be the array that we're going to be returning. So let's just say letters. And in this case, we can use push. But I'm just going to go for spread operator. I'm going to say letters. So whatever values I had currently in my array, I would just like to add the variable that I just created by the name of the value. Now, last but not least, since I'm again switching back to a different letter, 
I would want to set up the count again to one. So I'm going to say count is equal to one. So as I was increasing the count, now it's going to reset it. Now, last and not least, I would want to return the letters. But obviously, in our case, this would be an array. So if I'm just going to check and return letters, check this out again, I'm going to have four F then two E. So I am counting the letters correctly, but I would like to return it as a string. And we know that in order to transfer from the array to a string, we just need to use the array method of join. And since I would just want to return on the values not separated by anything, I'm just going to have a empty quotation marks. Now, once we say that, what do we see? As we're going to be passing in the strings with repeating characters, we will be, in fact, counting the characters. And this is how I decided to solve this challenge. Hopefully you were able to solve it with me. And I'll see you in the next challenge.